Tonight, it's being called the largest ever civil verdict against a Philadelphia police officer. A man set in jail for almost four years, and today a jury decided to pay that man millions. David Spunt sat down with him for an exclusive interview, and David's live now at the Criminal Justice Center with more. David. Well, Kanifa Boozer didn't even want to do this interview originally, but decided to speak in front of our cameras and share his story because he wants to get the message out that justice will prevail, and there are people behind bars right now that should not be. Some points I'm happy, some points I'm, you know, nervous. I'm just happy that it's all over. It's been a brutal seven years for Kanifa Boozer. The Philadelphia native was outside with friends in January 2011 on Abbotsford Avenue in Germantown. Boozer says a friend took out a gun and fired a shot into the air. A nearby police officer named Ryan Waltman arrested Boozer as the shooter, claiming Boozer pointed a gun at him. Boozer says he told detectives it was his friend who fired the shot in the air. But he says Officer Waltman never investigated that claim. Boozer went to jail for almost four years because he couldn't post his half a million dollar bail. In times of, you know, grief, when I sat there in my cell and cried and prayed to God that I wanted to die, you know, it always was my family who wrote me letters and was basically my support. Boozer was released from prison in 2014, but sued Officer Waltman for what he calls false testimony. Waltman, who is still on the force, was represented by a city solicitor. Ultimately, a jury decided to pay Boozer $10 million for being wrongfully accused and imprisoned. I believe without, without speaking for the jurors that they want the city to stop and look and figure out what happened to Mr. Boozer and let's lock try to, to, to not have it happen again. Boozer lost his mother and sister while sitting behind bars. He wants people not to focus on his jury award, but these words he has for those who are behind bars and shouldn't be. If you're innocent and the police wrongfully arrested you, keep fighting. Keep fighting and don't never give up. No comment from the Philadelphia Police Department on this case. A spokesman for Mayor Jim Kenney says city officials are reviewing all options and may file an appeal. If they file an appeal, the money would come from the city, but that could be held up if that appeal is indeed filed from the city. Reporting live tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.